Hi, in this video tutorial, I am going to create a build pipeline for a .NET 6 project and run code analysis using SonaCube when the project is building. At first, let's explore the project that is opened in my Visual Studio IDE. You can see I have 17 class library projects and a one web API project in my .NET Core solution. Let's right click on one of the project and let's select properties. You will see the target framework as .NET 6 in this project. Go to your Azure DevOps environment and click on new project icon. So you will see a screen like this. So we have to provide a project name and description. So I will provide the project name as demo project. Okay. So we have to select the visibility as it is required for the project. You can set this project as private. Uh, when you want to provide access only to a limited number of people let's set the visibility as public for this project since we don't want to have like that kind of uh, access restriction okay so let's click on advanced here and you can provide what is the version control you are using for the project from here and what is the work item process you want to follow in your project so for this project, I will select Git as the version control for the project and I will set the basic work item process for this project and click on create. So it will be creating your project. You can see the project is created in your space. Let's click on repos and let's click on commits. So here uh, you have the option to clone this project and let's try to uh, push the changes, the commit this, uh, the solution to this repository we just created in, created as demo project. After committing your code, so you can see the, the commit ID like this. So let's move to the pushers from here. So you will be able to see your commit history. So let's click on repos files. So you will be able to see your main branch. That's the master branch. And you will be able to see the project files and its structure. So if you click on API project, you can see the folders and what are the files available inside there. Let's try to create our build pipeline for this project. So let's go into the pipelines and click on it. You can see the screen to configure your pipelines. Uh, so I will click on create pipeline. Uh, in here, you have to provide the place where your source code is available. So in this uh, example, I am going to stick into the classic editor instead of uh, going for yaml to create this very simple pipeline because of that let's select uh, use the classic editor option so in here you have to provide where your source code is available i will go for azure repo grid repo grid select uh, let's select the uh, the repository from here uh, from available repository list and you have to uh, select the, the default branch for the builds and click on continue. In here you have variety of templates to create your build pipeline. So I have to go for ASP.NET Core because uh, we have uh, .NET 6 class library project and one web API project. So I will check for dotnet core and select asp.net core template 
you can see your build pipeline is created uh, let's select the agent pool uh, you can select azure pipelines when you are using azure cloud edition and provide the agent specification uh, on a preferred operating system you want i will go for windows 2022 uh, you can select uh, in here you can select the uh, default agent as well when you are using the on-premises Azure DevOps environment uh, and for these two parameters you can keep the default values for projects to restore and build and for test projects from here let's go to this uh, get sources section so here uh, you have already selected this project source repository and branch information uh, here for this clean uh, parameter let's provide clean value as true from the drop down because of that it will clean the working directory of your build agent before the build is run uh, so let's keep the tag sources uh, as never and uh, report build status checkbox checked uh, with the default values so then uh, let's go with these default values for the agent job okay so let's move to the first build task available restore so you can see the task version uh, you can provide a dis display name uh, to this task if you want i will say dot uh, net restore Uh, and we'll keep all the other things as def default so let's move to the build task so in here also let's keep the same values when i'm when i'm done building my class library dlls what i want is i want them to change the assembly version as per the build number of the pipeline so then you will be able to see a proper version available once it releases in order to do that you have to add a new task to insert the assembly version information so let's click on this plus icon uh, it will open up uh, the available tasks to add so let's move to the search bar and type assembly So you will be able to find a task to insert assembly versions so we can pick the first one from the marketplace that's assembly info and let's click on get it for free so you will be redirected to the azure marketplace let's click on get it free in here you can see your azure devops organization is selected so let's click on install uh, i'm using azure devops cloud version so i can easily install any tasks from the marketplace but if you are using azure devops server you may have to download the dlls and install this manually so i will move to proceed to organization so you will be redirected to here so i will save the pipeline and then refresh this so if i search for assembly so you can see these two tasks under assembly info now so let's go with the dotnet co version uh, since we are we have dotnet co class libraries let's get this assembly info task as the first task so i will drag and drop it here so we have to insert this assembly version to the compiled files from the build so at first uh, let's click on this insert attributes checkbox all the other values are like we'll set it to default so uh, let's uh, check what are the attributes available here uh, so you can insert uh, insert the build number uh, for this version in 
so you can insert that build number for the uh, assembly version and let's do that for assembly file version and what else you can do that for package version as well so after updating the assembly version we have dotnet restore dotnet build so in the build task um, it will build all this uh, cs proj files so the test task i'm not going to explain about the test results of the test projects or the test coverage so we can remove this task from here uh, so then we have the uh, publish so i will change the name as dotnet publish so this will publish the projects uh, after building so this task is going to publish the web project in this video i am going to show you how to run sona scanner for your projects if you have already configured sona cube in your projects you can run some commands to run sona scanner in every new build uh, let's run a command line to begin the sona scanner so for that we have to add a new task for that so i will click on plus icon cmd and command line and add here uh, you can check a video in my channel to upload your code base to sona cube and how to run a code analysis in your projects so you can video in my channel to upload your code base to sona cube and how to run a code analysis in your projects check the video link in the description below so we have added a command line task so let's uh, drag it over here after build so i will give a name as scanner begin so here you have to provide a script to run this uh, when this command line task starts it's the uh, same command we ran in local environment to push the code base to sona cube we have to pass the key of the project uh, we have to pass the host url and credentials so i will take that command from here and paste it here uh, then we have to build the project to find errors and warning of the solution so i will check for the build task here and click on add after this <coughs> so we have to end the sona scanner also so after uh, doing that it will upload the issue report to the sona cube server so for that i will get the command line uh, after this i will get the sona scanner end command like this so in this build pipeline we have uh, built the project and analyzed the code with sona scan so let's uh, save this pipeline and let's queue this one when we run the pipeline it gives us an error in the dotnet build task it says uh, the specified version string does not confirm to the required format major minor build revision that means the build version that uh, it's it's not matching with the uh, with this major minor build revision format so if we go to the uh, set assembly manifest data and try to see what is the assembly version is something like this it doesn't comply with the major minor uh, and revision uh, type of uh, version in system so we have to do some changes here for the options this is the default uh, build number format for that one let's change this to something like this so i i, I am just adding uh, one as the major version and for the date 
for the date uh, the year as the minor version and another uh, minor version as per the day of the year and then the revision so uh, let's save and queue this one and see so when the pipeline is running you can see the major version is there uh, the year is 2022 and the date day of the year is like 81 and this is the revision so you will be able to see uh, these are the attempts that the build pipeline has been run so this is the uh, the latest attempt with the build number you can see the build number has been changed once you click on that you will be able to see this information uh, one published so let's click on that so you can see uh, so you know we have the uh, we have a web api project and we publish that so if you just expand this one you will be able to see the uh, the api zip projects in here so you can download this one from here and uh, extract this into your local iis or maybe into on premises server or else you can uh, create a release pipeline for this dotnet web project so we have published this uh, from the build pipeline you can create a release pipeline to release that uh, and release that into on-prem server or deploy it into azure app service so let's do that in my next video thank you